Welcome back. Today we are diving into the Jetpack Compose and taking an interesting challenge, creating a sticky footer for your lazy polum. Today Jetpack Compose doesn't have any dedicated API for sticky footers, but we'll show you how to build it without using a box approach. In Compose, you have a lazy column with a useful sticky header feature, but there is no built-in solution for the sticky footer. If you've been wondering, how to implement it, don't worry, we are going to show you how to do it without relying on the box. Let's get right into it. To achieve this, we'll take a different route by placing our footer directly within the layout hierarchy. Instead of wrapping everything in a box, We'll structure our lazy column and footer components separately but still align the footer at the bottom of the screen. This method helps avoid nesting and keeps the layout cleaner and more flexible. Here we have a simple lazy column set up with a sticky header. This keeps the header visible while scrolling. Now how do we add a sticky footer in here? So instead of using a box for positioning, we'll use a combination of layout modifiers and alignment tools. First, we'll place the lazy column within a column composable. Then we'll add a footer as another item and ensuring it stays fixed at the bottom of the screen. Now. The sticky footer is right at the bottom but it's not showing on the screen. That's because we have not used the modifier components yet. So now let's move this modifier at the parent column and then we have to add a modifier in the lazy column. The modifier is weight. So we'll keep this weight as 1f. As you can see, we can now see the sticky footer at the bottom and we can scroll the list while the sticky footer is stick to the bottom. Here's the solution. Instead of using a box, we use a column composable with the lazy column given weight 1f modifier. This ensures the list takes up as much vertical space as needed while keeping the footer anchored at the bottom. The footer is placed outside the scrolling region so it remains visible even when the content scrolls. This approach is clean and avoids unnecessary nesting with a box. By using a simple column and leveraging the weight modifier, we ensure the footer stays fixed at the bottom while maintaining an easy to follow layout. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Coding Reel. Over 80% of you aren't subscribed, so make sure don't miss out on more Jetpack Compose tutorials and Android developments. Thanks for tuning in today. Until next time, happy coding.